are talking Raw, the curse of Greta Müller. And this is a German 2013 found footage movie. Now this is actually the first in a trilogy of movies very much inspired by the Blair Witch films. In fact the second one sounds like it's actually inspired by Blair Witch Book of Shadows. Now this focuses on three female young, young women who are wanting to make a documentary about a local legend. Uh, there is a legend of this particular witch that was kind of burned at the stake obviously back in history and she apparently had this son who was ripped from her womb as she was a pregnant and there is legends regarding them and there's also legends regarding these kind of these horned hoofed creatures that have been seen by foresters and things like this so these three girls decide that they are going to do a documentary about it for their kind of university I'm assuming something like that and as in most kind of found footage style you know, you start off with a few interviews and then we kind of get these guys going into the kind of the, uh, the forest itself, disturbing things that maybe shouldn't. What will happen? You have to watch the movie to find out. So let's first of all talk about what works with Raw, the curse of Greta Müller. Uh, I actually think being set in Germany, which is actually in German language, I should point out, and, uh, you know, to read subtitles, but I think the fact that it is set in Germany, a country which has got a deep history in kind of legend, myth and folklore, it kind of feels more fitting in a lot of ways, and at least kind of, these kind of folk horror coming out of Europe rather than kind of America to a certain degree. At least how, that's how I feel about it, because it just has that much more kind of... Um, Hist historic kind of aspect to it where you know this is kind of legends have gone on for centuries and centuries and things like that and it kind of gives it somewhat of a um scarier feel obviously germany has lots of kind of forests areas and things like this so you can just imagine you know that there's legends and stuff that are in this kind of like uh in the uh you know in the that country and things so that was that was quite cool uh, the movie does have some creepy moments. Um, it's not a film that really shows you a hell of a lot in regards to uh, effects. It's clearly very low budget. But um, nonetheless, I the, the, you do see a couple of, of sh short things. And I do think it works quite well. It's obviously done, as I say, on the low budget. But I think they've got to, um, if you can't afford to do that, it's probably best off showing a little and just hints and stuff. And it does work, I think, in that. But you get enough... To kind of get an idea about what is going on so to speak i thought our three young ladies did a good job of portraying them a, a group of real friends they seem to have those kind of like uh that, that interactions that friends would normally have and kind of things like that and i thought that was all sort of quite good and there are some you know some fairly kind of eerie scenes and kind of um obviously it happens in a lot of these films to be fair you know the forest where you where you'll get kind of weird sounds coming from i think the sound design was very good in this movie because you do get some kind of like creepy kind of sound effects that i think um really kind of accentuate the uh the, the the heightened sense of fear and stuff however what doesn't work i actually think they go sometimes too far with the sound effects uh, for example, we hear a baby crying at certain times and things like this, and no one really acknowledges it. So I just think well, that'll be a, that. That says like that'll be a creepy sound to have in, uh, you know, hearing in the woods. But we won't kind of have any of the characters really react to it, to be honest with you. Or at least that is what I was reading. You know, um, whether the, the translation was exact, I don't know. But it didn't seem that anyone really kind of reacted. Things like this. Also, the film does have a, a little bit of a musical score, which I don't think works in found footage movies because it kind of undercuts the illusion that it's obviously a real, you know, real found footage and stuff. Because the found footage simply wouldn't score their movies and things like this. Um, if we are being honest and kind of, well, if we have to kind of like be honest about the the story here, you can probably fit the the plot part of this movie in about. A five to ten minute film because a most of this film is just long sequences of either people just talking dialogue which is which is nothing to do with the real plot or we kind of have just shots of you know people walking through the woods and things like this 
There's also there's also some questions about would people be filming these sort of things. For example, um, we have uh, sequences where we see a camera being placed outside the tent of a night, filming the tent in kind of like um, infrared. And this is before they know anything really is going on. I think, why would you why would you have your camera on filming while you are asleep that happens to catch something? It doesn't make sense unless you were expecting something to kind of come out and be and be trapped by a camera. You wouldn't film it, and they aren't at that point. So that kind of doesn't make sense. Um, so th there's a couple of kind of little little niggles like that. Uh, if we're being sort of completely honest about the. Uh, <laughs> The realities of, of what this would be. And this was, I think, uh, a 2013 movie, so it's not like um, the technology is nearly a decade old at this point, eight years old. So, you know, Bachelor Life ain't going to be that that great sort of eight years ago. Um, to be honest, with you, it's, it's a very, it's not a particularly original film, although I do think it works in some, some spooky aspects. The film is just you know kids go into a woods and get chased around by something that's that's it i do think it has some effective moments in it in regards to kind of spookiness i quite like the actors i thought they did a good job but it's nothing original you don't really see a hell of a lot and there are some kind of things that take you out of the illusion that it is a found footage film so i'll give this one a four out of ten it was ultimately makes it a slightly below average movie um but it was watchable um I possibly would watch the sequels. Maybe they, you know, have a little bit more budget or something. But anyway, have you seen it? I know it's a German film, so I don't suppose many people have seen it. Um, but uh, there you go. Let me know if you have seen it or would you see it. Uh, I'll give us a 4 out of 10. Let me know what you think. Bye for now.